and welcome to Steve's Horse Show, part one of tips on an HYPP horse. The reason why HYPP is such an issue is there's too much potassium in the bloodstream. What a lot of horse owners forget is that anywhere from 65 to 85% of the horse's diet comes from forage. A lot of people are concerned about how much potassium or um, nutrition their concentrated feed has, but that's only a small portion or should be of the horse's diet. In contrast to that, you should focus a lot on the forage that you are feeding. How you can do this is test your forage and see how much potassium is in the forage that you are feeding. Uh, most feed stores and a lot of places can do forage tests, and so you can have them get those done and then see how much potassium is in your forage. Part two of what to do with an HYPP horse. Part two is that you need to stay away from two things if you are feeding an HYPP horse. One is alfalfa, the other is soybean meal. Both of these uh, ingredients or commodities are pretty high in potassium, generally speaking. So if you will look on the tag of the concentrated feed you are feeding, or make sure you stay away from alfalfa if you have a horse that is HYPP positive, that is the tip. Part three of how to feed an HYPP horse. One of the primary ways to keep a HYPP horse in control, if you will, is by feeding small amounts of feeds per all throughout the day. Horses are designed to graze anyways from anywhere from 16 to 18 hours a day. So you want to try to stick to that natural uh, grazing time frame as much as possible with an HYPP horse. What happens with an HYPP horse is can set off a reaction is when they consume too much potassium and insulin levels rise in their bloodstream at one time. So how you can combat this is to feed smaller meals as many as possible for your lifestyle throughout the day, which will keep those insulin and potassium levels low in the bloodstream.